After what seems like a lifetime, I'm finally back out in the field, exploring and hunting with a couple of good mates. It's no backcountry hiking, but more of a casual hunt, scoping out a local property in search of my first red deer. After months of practicing with my bow in anticipation of the upcoming roar, I'm torn between earning my first deer with my bow or taking advantage of a more efficient way to harvest meat using a rifle. This particular hunt, I've decided to leave my bow at home, unlike my hunting buddy Mitch, who wasn't putting boots on the ground without it. As a newcomer to hunting, I'm taking advantage of the offer to attempt to drop my first deer with the rifle. Don't get me wrong, by no means do I think it's going to be easy. G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Today I'm out with mate Joshua Smith, Mitch Lattis Brown. We're out hunting deer. Mitch has got the bow. Josh, he's got the 270. We found a heap of beds back here. We've had a massive rain event. All the creeks are flooded. They can't cut through creeks like they normally would. But we're just creeping along. Back where we put the car, like there's a heap of sign in there. We're just plodding along. Like it's getting close to coming into the raw. So next couple. Uh, next month kind of thing we're probably gonna have better chances but we're just cruising along being quiet if Mitch gets a shot with the if Mitch gets a shot with the bow he'll take it if not we've got Joshy with the 270 there Do you reckon? Yeah, I'm still red. Still half dry. Yeah, it doesn't just smell like wet grass. Going down and then hugging that track. Should get him to bump him and we'll go up there and get ready for a shot. You know what, it's probably not the stupidest idea. Mm. I can follow the track around a bit. If you guys set up where the car is, just get ready to shoot off the bonnet. Either that, or we just follow their tracks for a bit and try and get a shot at one with this. Yeah, go on, I'll have a look. If you want to go up and yeah. see if they come out, uh, even have, if you get a shot away, I'll come running. They've walked out through there. Oh, this grass is laying down this way. Yeah. 
been sitting here picking all the leaves off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can see they've been in here anyway. She's yeah. all trodden down. Come in and gone out. Yeah, all these ends are chewed yeah. off too, eh? And like these ones are right up here. That's too high for anything else. Yeah. That's... Been in there. Mm hmm. Let's see where they've come around. Yeah. Yeah, look at it. It's just stripped, eh? Smell them. Yeah, yeah man. Smells like wet beer. Yep. Yes. One of the young stags. I'm smashing his antlers on this thing. Rubbing them down here too. Yep. Yeah, they've been in here. Thick. Thick through here as well. I'm, just... yeah, I'm gonna poke down there and work the way back up to the car. Well, we just spotted our first doe. As she crossed the paddock, she bumped a little one. So, seeing deer, that's a start. Hopefully we can sneak up on something, get a shot away. Yes. Did you try it? Did that you was shoot? the sag. It was? That was the sag I aimed at. Yeah, cool. Yeah, there was just... nothing like shooting at the targets, man. Yeah. never is. Well, you as think... soon as I saw antlers on him. Were you confident in the shot? I was wobbly, but I dropped along the, to the back of the shoulder and squeezed the trigger. But I lost it in the scope. I don't know. I don't know what happened after that. No, you don't. Following through after you shot something that'll come later. Like to look straight down your scope to see where you hit after. Dude. It looked like he... I seen something drop. Quick. Well, I seen him go up on his hinds. So I think he stood. And that's usually a good response to just getting slugged in the chest. Well, let's get down there in case the blood trail washes away. Yeah, well, blood trail's going to be... Blood tracking's going to be a bitch today anyway. But... Dude, Here, I'll throw it up on my shoulder if you want. So bad, man. Oh, I don't think I hit, though. You, you're not going to think you, you never did. know until you get there. You think it's the worst shot in the Dude, world. Dude, did you see my leg? Yeah. It's the first time you shot a f***ing <sighs> anything with a rifle. <laughs> All right, I just took my first shot. We thought we had a couple of does pushing along the creek. Turns out a stag was standing there. He was looking at me. That's my first shot at a deer. Oh, I was wobbling and shaking. I got to that tree. I don't know. I felt confident when I pulled that trigger, but like I said, I lost it in the scope. I don't know what happened. Boys said it kicked. Going down to see, see if we can find some blood. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys for whipping. I think because they were nervous. No. I missed him, eh? I don't know where he's got. There's no blood anywhere, man. I missed him clean. There'd be blood everywhere if I got him. That's the way he went. It's definitely the way they went. Well, I've got news for you then. You hit him. Oh, that is blood. Is it blood? No. Nah. Yeah, it is. It is. How's it dry so quick already? Oh, no, it's not. That's not blood. No. Nah. I was going to say it looks like lung blood, but smell that. No, nah, it's very fruit. fruit shit. Damn. Get my hopes up then. Yeah. Look. You punch through here. Kicked up fresh sand there. Looks like the tracks end at that log. Yeah, straight across and up that trail. Yeah. All right, I um, had my first shot at stag. Cooked it. I was, yeah, I had buck fever, stag fever. I don't know, uh, legs were shaking, arm, I had to lean up against a tree. We're gonna go now, we're gonna rest this place for a little while. I'm gonna go put a few shots down range <laughs> on the target and make sure I can still shoot, but yeah, we'll come back, we'll have another look. <sighs> Gut wrenching, man. Clean miss though, better than bad shot, but just too wobbly, man. Didn't really rush it. I, I took time. I, I stopped. I turned back at the boys and was like, I'm so shaky. Had another crack. Got that leg to stand still for a second and yeah, the rest is history. You playing a deer or the I'm, bongos? I'm getting there. <laughs> That's what you're doing, jungle music. That wallaby's ears definitely pricked up. No, yeah, the wallaby's buying it for sure. He's going, what the f are those idiots in the car doing? <laughs> <laughs> kidding, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> what the f*** was doing out in the rain? I would have thought with that noise he would have at least stood up to see what the f*** was going on. Just one time I want to see one come walking out. Yeah, she's starting to flow in that rain. This might be our last time to cross it. Yeah, man, that rain just keeps coming down, eh? Yeah. All right, so the hunt's over. Come out of the range. Just going to send a couple down just to prove I can't actually hit a target. Yeah, here we go. I'll put one down, see what happens. <laughs> see if Joshy's gun's actually out of whack or if it's just, just me with buck fever. Basically, all that tells me is you got no f uh, excuse. I was a bit nervous then for a few seconds. I'm like, I hope that f goes gong. <laughs> yeah, so I definitely have buck feet. Yeah. I might just clip him on the edge, I think, then. That skull. 
All you got was a oh. skull. Yeah. It must have obliterated it then. Skull's gone. No, that's in the skull. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> on. That, that was a weird noise. Yeah. It must have just ticked the edge or something. <laughs> so I was like, hit the edge of a car, blew it up. <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie. This was not how this hunt had played out in my mind. I was thinking I'd be cooking something over a fire and wrapping cuts of meat for the freezer, not picking tomatoes and foraging mushrooms in the rain. What actually happened was more than likely how it was always meant to happen and probably couldn't have happened any other way. I'm slowly starting to realise that you can't just step out of a vehicle and have a deer walk out right in front of you. You gotta earn it. And as much as I wanted it, I kind of feel like I haven't earned it just yet. Even with all my preparation, all my target practice, nothing could prepare me for that rifle shaking rush of adrenaline. I think I need to walk a few more miles and suffer a little bit more before it would feel like it was something I deserve. I'm hoping this hunt will count as some sort of rite of passage or initiation into the world of hunting and somehow it will attribute to the success of future hunts. There's no blood anywhere, man. I missed him clean. <laughs>